Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the complementary angles of sine and cosine. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below for more easy to understand math concepts. We say two angles are complementary if the sum of the angles add up to 90 degrees. So for example, if I have angle theta added to an angle alpha, they are only complementary if they add up to 90 degrees. So looking at the right angle triangle given, I have triangle ABC as shown such that you have the angle at A 90 degrees. We know that the sum of angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So if for example the angle at C, I call that angle alpha, what it means is because the angle at A is already 90 degrees, to add up to 180, then the angle at B and C must add up to 90, because 90 plus 90 add up to 180 degrees. So therefore, what that means is the angle at B will be 90 degrees minus alpha. If I add all these angles together, they must be 180, so if I have 90, the angle at A, plus the angle at B, that's 90 degrees minus alpha, plus alpha. If I simplify, I have 90 plus 90 degrees minus alpha plus alpha, minus alpha plus alpha cancels out. So therefore I have 180 degrees, which is the sum of angles in a triangle. If I use the trigonometric ratio, so Couture, we have my so. So means sine equals opposite of hypotenuse. I have cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse. And tua means tan theta or tan of that angle equals opposite over adjacent. And I use the angle at C as my reference angle. What it means is if I have the reference angle at C, then the side facing the C will be my opposite. The longest side is my hypotenuse and the last side is my adjacent. So therefore, sine alpha is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, which is equal to, using the triangle given, the opposite in this case is my side AB over the hypotenuse, that side BC. So I lighten my triangle. I have the opposite, that's AB, divided by the side BC, as shown. Now, if I to find the cosine of angle at B, I have cos angle 90 degrees minus alpha. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So I have my adjacent over hypotenuse. Note that because my reference angle of change, that means my naming the nomenclature for the side of my triangle is also going to change. So what I'm going to have, I have the side highlighted. Now the new side will be starting from the side facing the new reference angle. That will be the side AC facing the angle at B. That will be the opposite side. The longest side is a hypotenuse. That's the side facing the right angle. And the third side will be a adjacent. And because we know that cos 90 degrees minus alpha is adjacent of a hypotenuse, that will be AB divided by the hypotenuse BC. Note that sine alpha give us AB over BC cos 90 degree minus alpha gives us AB over BC. So therefore, what we can infer is that sine alpha is equal to cos 90 degrees minus alpha. So that means the complement of sine alpha is 
cos 90 degrees minus alpha. The same theory goes for if alpha is my reference angle and I'm to find cos alpha. Note that I'm starting from the angle at C is my reference angle. So the side facing C will be my opposite. The longest side is my hypotenuse and the third side is my adjacent. So therefore, cos alpha, which is adjacent over hypotenuse, will be AC over hypotenuse BC. To find sine of 90 degrees minus alpha, which is the complement, now because the reference angle is changing, the nomenclature for the side is also going to change. Angle at B is now my reference angle, so the side facing the reference angle will be my opposite. The longest side is my hypotenuse, and the third side is my adjacent. Sine of any angle is opposite of our hypotenuse, that's the trig ratio. So opposite now will be AC over the hypotenuse BC. Note that cos alpha, we have therefore cos alpha is equal to sine of 90 degrees minus alpha. So going through a couple of examples, if I'm to find sine 30 degrees, the complementary angle will be cos of 90 degrees minus 30, that's 60 degrees, or if I'm to find cos 50 degrees, the complement will be sine of 90 degrees minus 50 degrees, that's 40 degrees. Thanks for watching. Bye.